police officer is fighting for his life. A Honolulu police officer is in the hospital fighting COVID-19. Officer B.J. Morales is assigned to the Wahiwa police station. Friends and family say he's taken a turn for the worse. In the beginning, it was just like, oh, okay, I'm going to get better. And then I wasn't getting better. I was like, oh, man. That was just the start of like a long journey. Morales has been in a medically induced coma. We're told Morales was healthy, active, and young. He was on three different life support machines. Nurses would tell me that, you know, he is the sickest patient in all of Hawaii. And there's very little that we can do but wait and hope that things turn around. I just thought I was gonna die. I'll just say, hey God, Please help me get better, you know, so I can see my family. Nobody knows the outcome. You're hearing people are dying. You're hearing people are hospitalized. Fear just overtook our family. Before COVID, being so full of the busyness of life. God had been on the back burner. My wife would bring it up. She would say, oh, we should go to church. So I was just like, ah, oh, you know, I don't know if we have time. My priority was like, oh, work, 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 work. You know, it's expensive feeding three kids. The kids didn't have that time with their father as much as they probably wanted to. My thought process was that, hey, you know, like, as long as I'm providing for my family and they're fed, they have their toys, then they're fine. I'll be there when they need me, you know. While he was in the hospital, his chances of survival is really very, very slim. My auntie had invited me to ProSide. Hey there, ProSide family. Thank you so much for joining us once again. I would make the time for my kids and I to go to church and go to small group. It felt like another family to me that also gave me more hope. God is near to you right now more than he's ever been before. So the whole time I was out, I just remember, like my dreams were, I could hear my family. The nurses had said, if you want, I can put the phone next to his ear and you can talk to him and I'll leave the phone there and just let us talk. I could hear them, I know they're at. <laughs> I just wanna hug them, I just wanna be with them. Whenever the nurse did the rotations, they would call me if they were going into the room. We could talk as a family to him. And Keep hugging, we love you. I would tell him every day that I believe that God has more purpose for him. 35-year-old B.J. Morales has spent 80 days so far in the hospital. With some good news, his family says he's showing some signs of improvement. I had that sense and peace from God, knowing that he was going to do something miraculous. You came along Put me back together Every desire is now satisfied Here in your heart It was a lot that I had to unpack with him when he woke up Explain to him how I got through this whole this whole situation <laughs> while you were in the hospital. Telling him everyone's just coming from all around the world, just saying that they're praying for you. So it just like kind of blew my mind. I was like, man, my chances of survival of beating this was slim. You know, this, uh, this has to be the works of God, you know? That was where God was softening his heart, opening his eyes to see that God was in control of this whole situation this entire time. I didn't fully give my life to him before. God, I know you spared me. Um, I want to find out why. 
he had lost so much time with his family. That's one of the things that BJ really was more aware of. All he wanted to do was spend time with his family. Yeah, I was able to appreciate what my kids needed. It wasn't just the material things that they needed. What they really needed was just my presence and being at home. He's able to balance more of his work and family and God. Everything else seems to fall into place. In this past year, he started going to small group. That was his biggest step of faith. Having that in his life now has really made a huge difference. Like you can see God working in his heart. All this nothing better than you. There's nothing better than you. Oh, there's nothing. Nothing is better than you. When you feel God's presence, seeing Him touch your life and your children and your husband. It's such a huge blessing. Knowing that, especially now, we have that hope. It's so unreal and amazing. Dear Heavenly Father. So right now, I'm still in that phase where I'm still learning, still learning how to walk with Jesus. I have a greater appreciation for life. Thankful that I'm still alive and still here with my family. You know, I'm just like, oh, man, like, you know, God's not done with me yet. <laughs>